Welcome guys, this is Laura from Stop Your Charm. Today we are discussing a new game that was published by no other company than Dontno, developed by Portoplay. This is the first game that Dontno is actually publishing. I have to admit, I was a bit hesitant about it. I knew that they were working on it. I wasn't sure if I was going to play it, but then I received a, uh, an email from Dontno. I had the possibility to play it earlier. I received a free key from Dontno, so thank you so much for that. I actually really appreciate it and I wanted to underline that I am under no obligation to praise the game. However, I am going to praise the crap out of it. I never expected to enjoy that game so much. And I have to say that Don't Not did it again, but first things first. Gerda, a flame in the winter. Walk the path of Gerda as her quiet life is turned upside down during the World War II occupation of her small Danish village. Choose where to go, how to act, and who to trust in this intimate narrative RPG light experience inspired by real life events. How far would you go to protect your loved ones? So yeah, you have to admit, it doesn't really sound like your typical summer vibe game. I had my doubts about it. I wasn't sure if I would be able to sort of enjoy it. Also because it sounds really serious. World War II, Danish occupation, Nazis, Gestapo. Also the title is just overall, it did not sound as something that I would like to play right this minute. Also with everything that's happening in the world, but it turned out that because of everything that's happening in the world, this game is now more important than ever. There's obviously many games that treat the war subject. Most of them are combat focused. There are some combat focused games that are also treating the morality subject that are sort of trying to make a deep dive when it comes to story. For example, Special Operations The Line. It's a pretty cool, interesting game. And even though it's combat focused, it still uh, made an impact on me. I even listed it in one of the best uh, underappreciated story driven games. We know that Don't Not likes to focus on story. We know that Don't Not likes to focus on making decisions and it turned out to be so crucial in the Gerda game. At first I was a bit worried that it would be too similar to another war-related game called 1111 Memories Retold published by Digix Art, which was actually highly praised. And I did play it, I even played it on my channel, but it just didn't really grab my heart, sort of. Even though it had amazing voice actors like Elijah Wood and Sebastian Koch, I, I felt like the message behind it, though beautiful, without a doubt, was that a Canadian soldier and a German soldier during World War I can become friends. And that's something that I think I know. That's something that seems sort of obvious to me. So I appreciated the game, I appreciated its art style, but I still figured it's not really for me. And I was worried that this game would be similar, but it turned out it was not. Obviously style-wise it does look sort of the same, but it was based on Danish Impressionist painters. That's why it looks the way it does. It makes it a bit harder to relate to the characters because you can't really see their expressions. Even Gerda's face is sort of blurred. You can't really notice their expressions. You sort of have to base your entire experience on the story that you are told, on the information that you are told. But at this point I have to underline the fact that it's so well written. The story, the dialogues, it feels so lifelike. It actually feels like a true experience. They created something that I would describe as a deep dive into individual experience during the war. Someone that has to narrate through a Danish village close to German border where both Danish and Germans live. Gerda is the idea of the conflict herself. She's both Danish and German. Her father, a German, recently joined Gestapo. Her husband, Anders, he's Danish and he recently joined Danish resistance. So Gerda is constantly torn and I feel like it's very hard to find the right path. At first I was even questioning myself because you have to make your way through the village. You get to pick locations, where you want to go, who you want to help, who you want to focus on. And it doesn't feel like any of the paths is necessarily the right one, the correct one. It feels like Don't Not is presenting us with information without trying to preach, without trying to tell us what is right. They are exploring the very grayish areas of the war. And that was fantastic. I don't want to discourage you. It's not really as heavy. If you're thinking, I don't want to play a war-related game middle of the summer. I don't want to play a war-related 
game because that there's war going on in Europe actually. I'm Polish myself so here World War II is a big deal. It always was. It's actually 1st of September. Gerda was just released and this was no accident like this is the anniversary of German attack on Poland. So the beginning of World War II. I don't think it's an accident that they actually chose this date to release the Gerda. But if you're thinking that this is the type of a game that you wouldn't want to play right now, give it a go. If you like story driven games, if you like choices based games, there's plenty of that. There are layers and layers and there's no black and white answers. They're not really telling us that Nazis are bad and that the Danish resistance is good. Beginning of the game I was actually siding with the Nazis sort of by accident. <laughs> not really but you get these points on the side uh, of the game of the screen and you get them by interacting. So if you uh, do a sort of a positive interaction with for example when a Gestapo soldier then you get a point up. When you're uh, favorable towards the Danish resistance you get a point up. When you're favorable towards Germans or Danish people, get a point up. And on the other hand, if you do or say something that wouldn't really be perceived as well, then you get a point down. There was a game that was also sort of trying to place you in the position of a victim, and it was called This War of Mine. It was Polish. I spent hours and hours playing it, but it still did not reach that level of depth that Gerda did. Maybe it's also because that one of the developer's grandmothers was actually Danish and she she lived through that story so it's based on real life events. Gerda, a flame in the winter is a study of human decisions made under the most difficult times. It never tells you that you're right or wrong and you actually do get consequences of your own actions. It's not like life is strange obviously where you can see the characters, their expressions that you're sort of in the game. You see it from an outsider's perspective, but you still feel a sense of obligation towards other characters in the game. And believe me, it is truly difficult to navigate Gerda through that village. I was so torn plenty of times. Early on in the game, because of my decisions, someone very close to Gerda died. And it hit me hard. It made me feel like crap. I hated it. I hated the feeling. It was haunting Gerda later on. It was haunting me. And when a game makes you feel that way, then you know that they did it. Then you know that they actually reached a, a certain level. That it's not an ordinary game. You can tell that it was created with love, with respect. You can tell that they were sort of trying to treat human emotions and human decisions in an in-depth matter. It was smart to set the game in a Danish village close to the German border and it was very smart to make Gerda half German half Danish because it created this sense of constant conflict for your character. It made you wonder what should I do? If you make a certain decision there will always be someone who is not happy with you and you just have to make your own way. And trust me I was constantly questioning my own morality while playing that game. That game actually made me question my own morals. I was worried that there's something wrong with me because I kept getting terrible outcomes but then again it is World War II. It's hard to get a good outcome. Although without a doubt I did get a, a horrible outcome when it comes to the end of the game I cried. <laughs> so there's no voice actors there's a lovely beautiful music playing in the background but there is a voice actress that's playing Gerda. In between sections Gerda reads her journal. This is familiar right from Life is Strange. She's reading her journal and you get to pick Gerda's perspective. Based on that you sort of get points that you can use later on. When the war came to Denmark, we were not forced out of our homes, and soldiers did not point their guns at us, but scarcity made itself known. Our lives became more muted, and our indulgences became more and more modest, until a pinch of sugar became a luxury. Still, we had a livelihood, and the simple pleasures of life remained to us, perhaps painted stronger than ever before. Some locations are locked if you don't visit them. Sometimes you are presented with three or four locations and you can only pick one or two. So you're constantly navigating, you're constantly trying to find your way through it. It is difficult, at least I found it difficult. I had the best intentions, it just didn't really work out for me all that well all the time. Even the art style grew in me. I did grow a sense of attachment when it comes to certain characters. Very quickly I found out that interactions do matter. 
that it is important how you treat others. Dotnot's not trying to tell us that someone is evil or good. Dotnot's trying to show us that there's so many layers to it. And they're not doing it in a way that you feel like they're self-righteous or they are trying to teach you a lesson. You are presented with facts, with people, with characters, and you choose your own path. I think my worst outcome of the game was the fact that I am judging myself right now. And I feel like I should have uh, reached a better outcome. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Video. I wasn't sure if I wanted to play it when I got that key. I wasn't sure if this is the type of a game that I would enjoy right now but quickly I learned that it is very relevant it's a relevant important game today especially with everything that's happening so close to my country so close to Poland and Ukraine. It's a game that matters these days because it shows the different sides of war. Of course, I'm not talking about extremes, horrible things that are happening right now, somewhere out there. And not just in Ukraine, there's over 30 wars going on as we speak in the world. So we might think that we are safe if we live in Europe or uh, America, but it is something that's happening and it is something that's worth exploring. This is exactly what Don't Not and Porter Play did. Gerda is a tale of compassion community and courage inspired by real life experiences and events. Unearth a hidden side of story and tell your own story. This is exactly what it felt like. It felt like I created my own experience and I would love to check out other paths. Right now as I'm recording this, uh, the game is not out yet so I can't check other outcomes. I can't really see how many different possibilities uh, there are but I feel like plenty because there's many locations that I did not visit. There's many characters that I wasn't really able to help out and I wish I could so I'm, I'm going to play it again. Like I said before it's not like life is strange, it's different but it's definitely a worthy experience. You can tell that they created that game with a lot of care, a lot of respect and a lot of love. And if you feel like you don't have enough knowledge about World War II, for example, it's all there. Gerda's journal, it includes a historical fact section so you can read about it. It's very thorough, it's very interesting. And I highly recommend going through it while you're playing. I love the fact that they did a deep dive when it comes to a person's experience. I love the fact that they showed us that everything is gray. It's nowhere near being black and white. I love the fact that they were not trying to make us feel like we have to do this or that or that a certain outcome is better or worse. It's our own outcome. They definitely reached a certain level when it comes to portraying things the way they are in reality. So I want to thank Dontnod for this experience. It was definitely something interesting. It was definitely something that made me feel stuff. End of the game, I, I truly felt horrible because of the outcome that I reached. And when a game makes you feel that way, you know that they have succeeded. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember, Gerda is 10% off on Nintendo Switch and Steam for a week starting now. It's just been released so go and grab your copy and I appreciate you watching the video and hearing out my opinions. Stay safe guys. This was all from Stop Me O channel. Bye.